What's up everybody, it's Charles, and today we're going to be doing a rear differential fluid service on the R32. This is the fluid that came out of the rear diff on the R32, and I'm guessing that it had never been serviced. This is what brand new good fluid looks like, so you can see this is quite a bit darker. There's not a factory service interval for this fluid, so typically around 100,000 miles is when you would want to do this. The tools we're going to need for this job will be a 17 millimeter Allen. The shorter the better, and I like something with a 3 8 inch drive, a ratchet, a torque wrench. I also picked up one of these small fluid pumps from the store to make getting the fluid into the differential much, much easier. And a container to capture the fluid that we drain out of the differential. Because we're gonna be lifting the car, you'll also need a jack, jack stands. It's also gonna be important to make sure that the vehicle is level. This way we can ensure we get the right amount of fluid in the differential. And the fluid that I use is the OEM fluid. As always, I'll put links down in the description to everything that we use today. Once we have the vehicle lifted, level, and properly secured, it's time to drain our fluid. Now remember, we are doing a differential service, not a Haldex service. The Haldex is about six inches forward from where the diff is. You'll also know the diff because it has the rear axles connected to it. If you don't see an axle connected to it, you're on the wrong drain plug. Next, remove the drain plug and drain the oil into your drain pan. Now you'll want to inspect your drain plug. You'll see there's a little bit of metal on it. It's not that big of a deal, but we do want to clean that off as best we can. Once you feel like you have a good amount of fluid drained out, go ahead and put the drain plug back in and torque it to 25 Newton meters. Next, it's time to remove the fill plug. This is also a 17 millimeter Allen, and it's located on the front side of the diff facing towards the front of the car. Next, what we'll do is we'll get our bottle of fluid. Make sure that you shake it. We'll put our little hand pump in it. This hand pump doesn't lock down on here, but that's okay. We'll take our tube, put it in the fill hole, and we will fill it with fluid. The service manual calls for 1.1 liters of fluid, so I recommend getting two and having a little extra, or if you don't end up needing it, you can just return it. Go ahead and switch to our other jug. You'll know that you have the right amount of fluid in the differential when fluid starts coming out of the fill hole. Pretty much exactly 1.1 liters. We can pull our fill tube out and put our fill plug back in, tighten our fill plug, and then torque it to 25 Newton meters. We'll just clean up any residual oil you can spray it with a little bit of degreaser or brake cleaner to get it clean, and we're done. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Remember, as always, properly dispose of any oil that you drained out. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to share it. You can also follow this R32 project on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, on Snapchat. Remember, if you want exclusive content to discounts to places like Black Forest, Eastwood, MT Knives, Sonic Tools, Mechanic, Petrol Box, Adams Polishes, Kerma TDI, USP Motorsports, and more. Check out the crew membership program. There's a link down in the description. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.